reconvened. Okay. Be seated, maintain order. Back on the record, State of Florida versus Ashley MacArthur. 2017 CF 5844. Anything from the state? Anything, Mr. Barry Barasset, Mr. John Barasset, Ms. MacArthur, we're good. Okay. Folks in the audience, everybody remembers my rules. Okay. I've got my phone off also, double checking that. Okay, I think we're ready. And uh, let's bring him. Everybody may have a seat. Defendant is present with counsel, assistant state attorneys present. How was lunch? It was good, thank you. Everybody okay? Oh, I got some smiles, man. <laughs> well, you can tell I had nothing to do with it then. Uh, well, I looked outside, and at one point it was raining sideways, and then it was just raining, so I'm sorry that you guys didn't get that. But uh, there's always the rest of the week for some sort of steamy encounter outside. All right, I think we're ready to go. Ms. Jensen, call your next witness. Audrey Warner. All right, ma'am, I think I swore you in this morning. Just have a seat. Pull up to the microphone. State your name, please. Audrey Warner. Okay, lean in for me. So, one more time. Audrey Warner. Perfect. Ms. Warner, um, what is your maiden last name? Potts. Okay. And what is your date of birth? 6-24-91. And what do you currently do for a living? I'm a medical assistant. At some time in 2017, did you work for Styx Billiards? Yes. Okay. And when did you first start working there? Mm. March 2017. Okay. What did you do for Styx? Bartender. While you worked there, did you meet uh, this defendant seated over here, Ashley MacArthur? Yes, ma'am. And when you first met her, um, what what was she doing up there at Six? Um, she would come in because her and her family owned some pool tables, jukeboxes, and uh, I do believe one of the games. So would she kind of, I guess, either service or, or take money from those machines? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then, um, in a week, in a week's period, how often would you see Ashley up at Six? Once, twice, three times a week. Okay. And initially it started out as like a business arrangement, would you say? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then after some time, did it become more of a, a personal um, situation where she would hang out? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you and Ashley MacArthur become friends? Yes, ma'am. Um, and back in that time frame in 2017, how would you describe your relationship to her? Were you close? Were you casual? I mean, what we was your... close, yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you and Ashley socialize outside of Sticks? Yes, ma'am. And around July, August, September of 2017, how often would you and Ashley MacArthur speak? Every day. Did you know Jessica Wheeler? Yes, ma'am. And was that also through Styx? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you two become friends as well? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you know Taylor Wright? Yes, ma'am. All right. And how did you meet Taylor Wright? Through mm -hmm. Ashley. Your best time frame, um, when did you first meet Taylor Wright in 2017? July. Okay. And where did you meet her? First time was Ashley's house. Okay. And who all was at Ashley's house on that day? Ashley, me, and Taylor. And did Taylor's girlfriend, Cassandra, show up at some point? I do believe she was there. Ashley asked me to stay outside. Okay. But the four of you ladies were there at Ashley's home? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you recall, Is this was this a day when Taylor and... Cassandra, we're having some issues. Yes, ma'am. Okay. After that day at Ms. MacArthur's home, did you see Taylor a couple of other times? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what were those circumstances? Um, we went to New Orleans, and I 
ended up having to have surgery, and Taylor and Cassandra came to see me in the hospital. Okay. And any other times that you saw her? Uh, we would go have lunch. Okay. Was, um, did you and Taylor ever do anything on your own, or was it always with Ms. MacArthur? With mm -hmm. Ashley. Okay. What types of things, um, if anything, did Ashley say about Taylor? Um, that she was annoying and she wished that she would leave her alone. Mm -hmm. Did there come a time um, where Ashley said something about harming Taylor? Uh, about putting cocaine in her beer. Okay. And can you tell us um, if you recall the date and where this conversation took place? Um, September 7th at Sticks Billiards. Okay. And who all was there? Me, Ashley, and Jessica. And um, what did Ashley say to you about Taylor that night? That the world would be a better place without Taylor. Okay, and you said something about cocaine. What specifically did Ashley say about cocaine? Um, how much coke do you think it would take to kill somebody? Okay. After that, conversation, well, let me, let me back up. Were you drinking alcohol at that point? Yes, ma'am. Um, was there anything about your alcohol level that would impair your ability to remember that conversation? No, ma'am. Um, how much alcohol did you see Ashley drink before that conversation? Not a lot. Okay. And what about Jessica? Was Jessica drinking? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and, and how much had she had to drink that you call? Not a lot. After this conversation about Taylor and cocaine, did you go anywhere? Yes, ma'am. Where did you go? Me and Ashley left and went to Babes. Okay, do you remember approximately what time it was? I think between 10.30 and 11. Okay. And why did you and Ashley leave Sticks to go to Babes? To purchase some cocaine. Who were you going to purchase cocaine from? A gentleman named, who went by T. Who arranged um, the deal with T? Ashley. Who drove from Sticks to Babes? I did. When you got to Babes, did either you or Ashley go inside, or how did, how did that take place? No, ma'am, he came outside my vehicle. He meaning T? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and how much cocaine was purchased? $250 worth. And did you actually do this transaction or did Ashley? I don't remember who handed off the money, but I know there was money handed off. Okay. How long um, were you and Ashley at Babes that night? I think only about 10 or 15 minutes. And after Babes, where did you and Ashley go? We went to Whataburger. After you went to Whataburger, where did you go? Back to Sticks. When you got back to Sticks, um, what did what did you, what did Ashley do at that point? Uh, she, she went in the back and laid down on the floor, and I covered her up with my jacket. Did you take a picture of her? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And is that the same night that you and Ms. MacArthur went to Babes and purchased the cocaine? Yes, ma'am. Did Ashley tell you, either before, during, or after you went to Babes, what she was going to do with the cocaine? 
She said that she was going to put it in Taylor's beer. After Ashley was laying on the floor and you covered her up, where did you go from Styx? I went to the hospital, the Sacred Heart Hospital. Why'd you go up there? I had a friend that was in the hospital. At some point after this night on September 7th, 2017, did you ask Ashley what she did with the cocaine? Yes, ma'am, on September 8th. Okay, that would have been the next day? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember approximately what time you talked to her? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, did you call her or did she call you? I feel like I called her. Okay. And um, how did that conversation go? I think I asked what did she do with it. And what did she tell you? That she put it in her beer and Taylor spit it out because she said it tasted sour. Do you remember what you did on September 8th, so the day after the babes transaction? Um, what did you do that September 8th? Um, in the morning, I took my dad up to Verizon to get his cell phone. And um, did you get a copy of that, of the um, Verizon transaction to confirm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. recognize that exhibit? Yes, ma'am. And um, is that a copy of um, a Verizon transaction from September 8th of 2017? Yes, ma'am. Judge, at this time I would move states 11 into evidence. Judge, I would object this hearsay as Verizon record. Judge, this is Ashley Stewart. Can you please state your name for the record? Ashley Stewart, Court Reporter. Ms. Warner, up. What time were you at um, Verizon on September 8th, 2017? What? Mm -hmm. 11.09, because I think it's an hour ahead. Okay. 11.09 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So exhibit number 11 is going to just be marked for identification purposes right. only. Okay. After um, you went to Verizon, where did you go from there? Um, I dropped my dad off at home, and then I went to work at Sticks. Okay. And do you remember um, what time you went to work at Sticks on February 8th? 2 p.m.? Yes. September 8th. September 8th. What is did I it, say? <laughs> is that a Friday? Yes, ma'am. You said February 8th. I'm just, oh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm just interjecting myself. <laughs> I'm September sorry. September 8th. I'm trying to read my notes. Sorry about that. Um, on September 8th. After you went to Verizon, oh. where did you go? To work. Okay. At Sticks. And what time did you get to work on September 8th? 2. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. Did you have, other than this cocaine beer conversation on September 8th, did you have any other conversations with Ashley MacArthur on that day that stood out to you? Yes, she sent me a, or I texted her, no, she called me, and she was short, so I texted her, and I said, why did, I was like, why are you so winded? She's like, I picked up a saddle. And you say she was short, what do you mean? Like, she got off the phone really fast. Do you remember, um, was that before or after you got to work around 2? I'm on, on my way to work. Okay. Now, did you, um, did you screenshot that conversation um, that you just described from your phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what was your cell phone number back then? 850. And what name did you have in your phone for Ashley MacArthur? Thelma. Why Thelma? It was just kind of a funny nickname, like Thelma and Louise, because we were together so much. Okay. Ms. Warner, I'm going to 
show you what's been previously marked as state's exhibit number 12. You'll just take a look at that and see if you recognize it. Yes, ma'am. And is that um, the conversation you had with Ms. MacArthur about her being winded? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Judge, at this time I would move states 12 into evidence. Received a state's 12. After you got to work on September 8th, 2017, did you see Ashley MacArthur that day? Yes, ma'am. And where did you see her? She came up to stakes. Okay. Do you remember um, what she was driving? Uh, Zach's truck. And was that normal or not normal for her to drive Zach's truck? Not normal. What did you normally see her drive? Either her black Jeep or her white Jeep. And do you remember about what time it was that she showed up at Sticks on February 8th? Or, I keep saying February, September 8th. Probably about 2 or 2.30 or 3. Okay. Did you actually see her pull in to Sticks? I don't, I don't recall how I saw her. Okay. Um, w when did you notice that she was there? I feel like I might have had the windows open at Sticks because there was two up front. And okay. I think I might have had the curtains open. Okay. And did she come into Sticks or did you go outside? I went outside. Okay. And was um, Ashley MacArthur by herself? Yes. Did you see um, Taylor Wright anywhere around? No, ma'am. And do you, what, why was Ashley there if she told you? I think she just stopped by because she usually would just sometimes stop by. Okay. And how did she seem on this uh, day on September 8th? Kind of fitted in in a hurry. Okay. Did she say why she was in Zach's truck that day? Doing work on the farm. And what, what did she look like physically? I'm just kind of tired. Did you notice anything uh, in the truck? Um, I noticed some bags in the back of it. What kind of bags? I'm not too sure because I just kind of looked over my shoulder real quick. Fair enough. Um, how long did Ashley stay at six? Um, at that time? Just a couple minutes. Okay. And did she say where she was going from there? Headed back to the farm. Had Ashley talked to you about this farm before? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what did she tell you about it? Just that her family had uh, that farm and another one. Okay. And when you say that farm, which farm are you talking about? The one, there was one, do you know where the, where the farms were? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, still on September 8th, at that time, on that day, had you been to either of these farms? No, ma'am. Did you go after September 8th, 2017? Yes, I went on September 13th. Okay, and why do you remember that specific day? I took a picture with a horse. Okay. Um, and who did you go out there with? Ashley. Why did you and Ashley go out to this farm on September 13th? I was under the impression it was to check on Kyle because he had just moved here. Okay. And who's Kyle? Her cousin. Did she say specifically why she wanted to go out there? No, ma'am. And where was this farm located? Well, let me ask you this. Was it in Pensacola or in Milton? Pen no, Cantonment, the one in okay. Cantonment. I'm sorry. Was it in Escambia County or Santa Rosa County? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, how far was it from Sticks? Like 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> and um, do you remember what, um, well, whose car were you in on the 13th? Ashley, uh, Black Jeep. Mm -hmm. 
um, when you guys got out there, did you make contact with Car with uh, Kyle? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And how long were you there? Out um, of the farm? Maybe like an hour, hour okay. and a half. And what were you guys doing out there? Um, we went out there, saw Kyle for a little bit, and then went and checked on the horses, and then Zach showed up. Okay. And what did Zach, who's Zach? Um, her ex-husband. Okay. And um, what did Zach do when he showed up? He was coming to get the Polaris 4x4. What's a Polaris 4x4? Is it like a like a four-wheeler or something? Kind of. Okay. Like an ATV. I'm sorry? Like an ATV. Okay. And do you know, did he, um, do you know if he called Ashley before he came out there? I feel like he just kind of showed up. I'm sorry? I feel like he, he in the mic yes. to speak up. I feel like he just kind of showed up. Okay. And when he got out there, what did the three of you do, if anything? Um, he got the Polaris, and then I was like, can I ride on it? So we rode from the barn around to where, like, the fence lining was, where he had brought a trailer, and the ATV did not fit on it. So we just kind of left it there for them to come back at another time to try and get it. Did you and Ashley and Zach eventually leave at some point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And was, where was Kyle? Um, he left like 30 minutes after we got there to go to school. Okay. Did you um, become aware that, that Taylor was missing at some point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And how did you hear? Like, was it, well, let me ask you this, was it from a person, or was it from the news, was it from media, what was it from? I think Jessica had called me at work. Okay. And did you ask Ashley if she knew anything about Taylor being missing? Yes, ma'am. And, and what did she tell you? She would kind of avoid the subject, or just that she was still missing. Did Ashley ever seem concerned or worried for her friend? No. Thank you, ma'am. Those are all my questions. All right, ma'am. Mr. John Barras is going to ask you questions, and if they're just yes or no, answer yes or no. Keep your answer short, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good afternoon, um, Mrs. Warner. Thank you. You became somewhat of friends with Taylor Wright, correct? Yes, sir. And um, you mentioned on direct examination hanging out with uh, Taylor Wright and Ashley MacArthur at times, correct? Yes. I mentioned even a, a trip to, I guess y'all took a trip to New Orleans, correct? Yes, sir. And, and during that trip, you became pretty ill during that trip, right? Yes, sir. And you were in the hospital for Days with an S, is that yes, correct? Sir. Okay, and you mentioned Cassandra came by to see you, correct? Yes, sir. Taylor came by to see you, correct? Yes, sir. Um, Ashley MacArthur checked on you more than anybody, correct? Yes, sir. I mean, I actually drove from Pensacola several times over to New Orleans to see you in the hospital, right? Yes, sir. All right. You also hung out with Taylor Wright some on your own, I mean, without Ashley MacArthur there. Did you and Taylor Wright uh, work a, a PI case together? Remember doing that? Yes. Okay, so that would have been times that you hung out with yes. with, with Taylor Wright without Ashley MacArthur yes. being there, correct? Now, The, you mentioned on direct examination, kind of at the end, um, the state was asking you about, well, did Ashley ever seem concerned or 
you know, the fact that Taylor was, was missing, and you, your answer was, no, she didn't. Isn't that what you told the jury? Yes. Now, and we're going to get into more detail the conversation that you claim you heard on 9-7 about Ashley MacArthur wanting harm done to Taylor, right? Tell the jury when the first time you spoke to the police was. What do you mean, the first time I spoke to the police? When was the first time you came forward to law enforcement with any information in this case? When I got my lawyer. Okay, so you weren't real concerned with helping your friend Taylor Wright out with any of this information you knew, were you? Yes. Okay. You, I mean, the police asked you to come talk to them, you didn't. No. Is that correct, right? You did not go talk to them when they asked you to? Yes. You didn't go talk to the police until after Ashley MacArthur was arrested, correct? Yes. Okay. But you claim you had all this information about your friend way before that? Yes. Your friend that was missing? Yes. That you knew was missing? Yes. Let's focus in on this conversation on, that you say occurred on September 7, 2017, that Thursday night at Styx. Um, do you know Alexis Cook? Yes. Okay. And do you know her from going up to Styx or her coming up to Styx? She would come up to Styx sometimes. Okay. Was the conversation that you described about the cocaine, was Miss Cook part of this conversation? I don't recall her being there. Any time that evening did, after you mentioned, we'll get into this more detail, but you mentioned you went out somewhere and then you came back to Sticks. Any time after that were you and Jessica Wheeler and Ashley in a closet somewhere in Sticks where Alexis Cook came ripping it open? No, sir. Focusing again on this conversation on September 7th, um, you all were drinking. When I say you all, I mean you, Ashley MacArthur and Jessica Wheeler were all drinking beer, correct? No, we were also drinking um, Crown. So were you all taking shots of it? Yes, sir. Now, it seemed like on direct examination you described it as, well, we were, we were drinking, but we weren't really impaired or drunk or anything like that. Is that how you described it? Yes. In fact, y'all were drunk that evening, weren't you? All of you. Yes. Okay. Why'd you say earlier y'all weren't drunk? Because when that conversation happened, we had only taken about a couple of shots, and then as the night proceeded before me and Ashley left, we had taken many more. Well, me and Jess had. The... You said that at some point, then you and Ashley MacArthur went to, I believe it was Babe Strip Club, correct? Yes, sir. It was just the two of you? Yes, sir. You drove up there? Yes, sir. Okay, in your vehicle? Yes, sir. And it indicated that, you indicated that someone, I guess, someone came out of Babes? Yes, sir. And there was a transaction? Yes, sir. Did you see any drugs? I did not see any drugs get handed off, no, sir. The fact there was never any drugs in your car that evening, was there? No, sir. Okay, so y'all didn't do a transaction up at Babes. All I saw was money being handed off. Well, you would know. I mean, you're sitting right there. You would know if there were drugs in your car, right? Yes, sir. And you didn't see any drugs in your car? No, sir. In fact, there were no drugs in your car? Not that I saw, no, sir. Did you ever see cocaine that night? No, sir. Did you ever have cocaine in your hand that night? No, sir. Did you ever put, or did you see cocaine up on the bar at Sticks that night? No, sir. There was a picture introduced into evidence of, of Ashley MacArthur 
laying on the floor. Kind of sounds like that may have been the end of the night and you covered up, correct? Yes, sir. And then I believe you said that you went to the hospital to visit a friend. Yes, sir. What time approximately did you leave Sticks, whether on, I guess, September 7th into the early morning hours of September 8th, 2017? What time did you leave? Between 1 and 2. And that would be a.m., correct? Yes. yes, sir. And it sounds like, from your testimony, you left Sticks prior to Ashley leaving <laughs> Sticks. You covered up and then you went and did your thing? Or do you know? No, I woke her up and said it's time to go. So y'all left about the same time? Yes, sir. 1 to 2 a.m. on the morning of September 8, 2017. Is that a yes? Oh, yes, sir. You testified on direct examination about, you said, a phone call you had with Ashley McArthur on September 8th regarding actually putting cocaine in Taylor Wright's beer that she was drinking. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, sir. Can you tell the jury, again, tell me, what, what did Ashley allegedly tell you in that phone call? That she had put it in Taylor's beer, and Taylor said it tasted sour, and she spit it out. Put what in Taylor's beer? It? What's it? The cocaine. Okay. What time did that phone call occur between you and Ashley MacArthur on September 8th, 2017? I don't remember what time that was. Was it in the morning? Was it in the afternoon? In the morning. It was in the morning. But you don't recall approximately a time in the morning? No, sir. It sounds like you're saying that that conversation that Ashley put something in a beer to potentially try to kill someone. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. How many times have people had conversations with you like that? Never. Okay, so th this would have been the first time? Yes. Be something that you would remember, correct? I mean, it's shocking. Yes. The conversation was in the morning, right? We yes. Told so, in order for that to happen, Ashley MacArthur would have seen Taylor Wright between leaving sticks at 1 to 2 a.m. and sometime in the morning on September 8th and Taylor drinking a beer in the morning, right? Yes. When did you learn that Taylor Wright, approximately, when did you learn that she was missing? I don't remember the exact date when I learned she went missing. Okay, but you learned this is through Jessica Wheeler, correct? Yes. What you told us? Okay. This information that you're saying that Ashley MacArthur told you on the phone, what did you do? Let's just pick a date, middle September. What did you do with this information on September 15, 2017? What do you mean? This information that Ashley MacArthur you claimed you said you tried to overdose Taylor with a beer by putting cocaine in a beer. Excuse me, what did you do with this information on September 15th, 2017? I went and got a lawyer. I'm sorry? I went and got a lawyer. On the 15th, that's the date you got a lawyer? Oh, I don't remember the day that I okay. got a lawyer. Uh, and the point I'm trying to make is the 15th of September, you didn't do anything with this information as far as give it to law enforcement or anybody that could potentially help Taylor Wright, right? But you're saying was said to you, right? Did you do anything with it on September 16th? I don't think so. September 17th? 
think so. This information didn't come up again until after she was arrested. That's the first time you told law enforcement about it, right? We didn't tell law enforcement before she was arrested, right? No. Did she try to kill your friend? Did she told you that? No. that the state put into evidence on September, the text from September 8, 2017, between you and Ashlyn MacArthur. Um, so I understand that you're saying there was a brief conversation between you and Ashlyn. She was very short with you, correct? And I see you're looking at it. Yes, sir. Um, and she responded about something about picking up, I don't have in front of me, picking up, moving a, a saddle. Is that what it says? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, You knew, did you did you know at that time, Ashley MacArthur, to have two farms, or her family to have two farms? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you know anything about her having horses at all at that time? Yes, sir. Okay. When you saw Ashley MacArthur on September 8th in the afternoon when you were working at Styx, um, I believe you said it was sometime 2 to 3 in the afternoon, is that correct, on September 8th? Yes, sir. And you mentioned she was up there in, in Zach MacArthur's truck? Yes. Is that a, a, a Ford F-250, a big pickup truck? Yes, sir. Okay. And it's fair to say that she was wearing um, a T-shirt, flip-flops, uh, and shorts. Is that what you call her wearing? Yes, sir. The t-shirt was white? Yes, sir. Okay. And when you saw Ashley MacArthur at that time, it's fair to say, as far as her dress, I mean, you didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, like any blood on her white t-shirt, on her shorts, on her legs, on her flip-flops, correct? No, sir. She, wasn't, she didn't appear to be dirty in any form or fashion, correct? No, sir. After September 9th, September 9th, 2017 is a Saturday. After that date, as you've indicated to the jury, you had an occasion to go out to the Britt family farm in Cantonment, correct? The, the farm out in Cantonment, I think you've described the jury. You had occasion to go out there after September 9th, 2017? I had an occasion. I'm sorry. All right. You went out to the Britt family farm after September 9, 2017. Yes, I want to apologize. Yes. Okay. And Mrs. MacArthur took you out there, correct? Yes, sir. And when y'all went out there, um, I think you talked about taking a photograph of a horse, correct? Yes, sir. That belonged at least to Ashley MacArthur or her daughter or somebody, correct? Yes. And you pet and you played with I don't know, a horse or the horses, correct? Yes, sir. I think did you take a selfie with one of the horses? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Um, so you spent time out there. Uh, did y'all go any? Did y'all, I mean, it's 23 acres. Did you go anywhere near the pond or anywhere else around the property? You know, we, look, um, we looked at the pond through the windows in the uh, trailer. Okay, so you went inside the trailer. Did you happen to go inside the barn or anything or look at the barn? No, the ATV was parked outside of the barn. Okay. And so did you go over to the area where the ATV was parked? Yes, I walked over there with Zach. Did you ride on the ATV with Zach? Yes. Okay, where did y'all ride the ATV? Um, from the barn around to like where the fence lining was, like kind of in front of the trailer. Okay.
And needless to say, when you were out there, nothing grabbed your attention. Unusual on the farm. You didn't see any indication of, of blood anywhere, cement anywhere, anything like that. No, sir. You happened to go out the farm on a second occasion, didn't you? After September 9, 2017. Yes. There was a time, I think, you went out there. Um, you and, and Kyle Britt had been partying. And you went out to the farm with Kyle, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, do you remember the date of you going out there that second time? No. Was it before or after you went out there with the horse? After. Okay. So it would have been after September 13th, the second time you went out to the farm? Yes. Fair to say that you continued, um, after September 8th, 2017, you continued to see and hang out with Ashley MacArthur. Y'all's relationship didn't change any, correct? No, sir. May I have one moment? No further questions. All right, Ms. Jensen. Ms. Warner, you mentioned that you got a lawyer, is that correct? Yes. Okay. You and Ashley MacArthur had purchased cocaine, correct? Yes. Were you worried about getting in trouble for that? Yes. And you knew at the time the cocaine was purchased that um, Ashley wanted to put it in Taylor's drink, correct? Yes. Were you concerned and worried you might get in trouble? Yes. Is that why you got a lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, ultimately, you did give a statement to law enforcement with your attorney? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, Mr. Barossett said you didn't actually see any cocaine on September 7th of 2017. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, you and Ashley went to Babes to buy cocaine, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you knew that the transaction would be $250, right? Yes. You knew that the transaction would be with T. Yes. Okay. And then T came out when you got to Babes. Yes. Okay. And you saw the money handed off but you just don't remember seeing the actual cocaine? Yes. Okay. Um, and why didn't you go to police? Because there was so many stories going around and people, because me and Ashley were so close, was that you're going to get in trouble, you're going to go down for this as well. And I was a single mom at the time, and I did not want to get in trouble. Okay. So... Uh, someone at the job that I was at at the time, he was a pre-law student, and he was like, my best advice would to be a lawyer. So I went and got a lawyer. Okay. Mr. Brossett was asking you about when you went to um, the property on September 13th. Do you remember that line of questioning? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And he said um, you didn't see anything unusual like blood or anything of that nature. No, ma'am. Okay. Th this property is huge, is it not? Yes, ma'am. Were you looking for blood? No, ma'am. Were you looking for a dead body? No, ma'am. Okay. Those are all my questions. Thank you. Is she free? Yes, ma'am. Is she free, Mr. Yes, yes ma'am. You're completely free. Just don't discuss your testimony, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Y'all need to stand for a second. Everybody okay? Everybody okay? All right. Call your next witness, please. Say call Zachary MacArthur. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth? If so, say I do. Yes, ma'am, I do. All right. Have a seat. Up to the microphone, state your name and spell your last name. Zachary MacArthur, M C A R T H U R. Remain quiet. Mr. MacArthur, what is your date of birth? 102577. And are you currently married to this defendant seated over here, Ashley MacArthur? Yes, ma'am. In what year were you and Miss MacArthur married? 2014. And did you know Taylor Wright? Yes, ma'am. 
Was that through um, the private investigations business? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then did you introduce Ashley and Taylor? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Does Ashley um, have a college degree? Yes, ma'am. And do you know what it's in? I believe um, crime scene, um, something to do with that. I, I don't know okay. exactly. Um, maybe criminal justice? Yeah, something. To okay. Do. Yes, ma'am. And did she work for um, the Scammy County Sheriff's Office at some point? Yes, ma'am. And what did she do for the Sheriff's Office? She was a crime scene tech. Okay. Right. Let me take you to July, August, September of 2017, okay? Did you know about any money dealings between Ashley and Taylor Wright? No, ma'am. Did you know that Ashley added Taylor to a bank account? No, ma'am. Did you know how many bank accounts Ashley had back then? No, ma'am. How many did you have that you knew of? <laughs> I mean, I had a debit card that I used, and that was about it. Okay. Who handled the finances in your marriage? Ashley. Did you know anything about your financial situation back at that time frame, July, August, September? No, ma'am. Are you familiar with Styx Pool Hall on Pensacola Boulevard? Yes, ma'am. And do you know if Ashley was hanging out there back in 2017? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how often she would go up there? Quite frequently. And um, did you know at that time if Ashley was helping Styx the business financially? Um, all I knew is she had some friends that were up there and that she had some machines up there and, and she would go up there and, and hang out with Audrey. Okay. But did you know if she was paying the electric bill for sticks? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, you were questioned by law enforcement when Ashley was arrested, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And did you provide receipts and, and whatever you could about your whereabouts on September 8th? Um, I'm not sure what all I gave them, but whatever they needed, I gave them. Okay. All right, let's go to um, September 8th of 2017. I want to start with that morning. Where were you um, and where was Ashley? Um, we slept in um, and then she left that morning um, before I did. Okay, about what time did she leave? I want to say 9 or 10-ish maybe. And that's a.m.? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And... Um, what was your understanding of what she was going to be doing on September 8th? If I remember correctly, she was she took my truck to help uh, Taylor finish moving or something okay. like that. After Ashley left, um, and this was your home, correct? Yes, ma'am. In Pensacola? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What was the address? 3961 Rain Tree Drive. Okay. And then after Ashley left that morning... Where did you go? I went over to see a friend of mine in and, Cantonment. I'm sorry? I went to see a friend in Cantonment. Okay, and what's your friend's name? Derwood Willis. And what did you and Derwood do? Uh, I met him at a friend of his house. Okay. Was that Jennifer Rowland? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and do you remember just, I, I know you probably didn't have a stopwatch back then, but approximately what time was it that you met up with Derwood and then went to Miss Rowland's house? Um, it wasn't very long after she left, if I remember correctly. Would you say b before noon? Yes. Okay. And then after you and your friend went to Miss Rowland's house, where do you, where did you go? Um, I went to lunch at Gulf Coast Seafood. Okay. Were you by yourself or with Yes, ma'am, by myself. Okay. And then after you, um, did you eat lunch there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, after you ate lunch, where did you go from there? Uh, tires, et cetera, or whatever it is right there on i by the railroad tracks, to, I believe, get my oil changed. Okay. And then where else do you remember being that day? Um, I remember visiting an academy once or twice that day. Okay. Um, I buy chicken. And then later on that evening, I met Ashley for dinner at um, Blackwater Bistro in Milton. Okay. So from the time Ashley left that morning, left your house to the time you went to Blackwater Bistro. Do you know what she was doing that day? I just assumed she was working. Okay. At any point, did you um, did you try to get up with Ashley 
on the eighth. I asked her if she was um, going to, if she wanted to meet for lunch, and she said she was too busy. Okay. When she left that morning, um, how did she seem? Normal. Okay. When you saw her later that evening for dinner, how did she seem? Normal. Just another day? Yes, ma'am. All right, the next day, um, Saturday, September 9th, did you and Ashley go to a wedding? Yes, ma'am. And do you remember approximately what time the wedding was? <sighs> um, I don't know if the time had changed by then, but I know it was before dark. Um, the sun was going down in the evening, so it was an afternoon wedding. Before you and Ashley went to this wedding, do you know what Ashley had been doing on September 9th? No, ma'am. What were you doing before the wedding? Ma'am? What were you doing before the wedding? I went to the hunting camp. Where was the hunting camp? Evergreen, Alabama. I picked up another friend early that morning before daylight, and we went up there. We had a lot of work to do. I mean, prior to hunting season, that basically all I do. Okay, so you're at a hunting camp in Evergreen, Alabama, and you don't know where Ashley is? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, where was the wedding itself? In um, Alberta, Alabama. Is that near Robertsdale? Yes, ma'am. And did you and Ashley ride together to this wedding on September 9th? Yes, ma'am. What car did you guys drive? My white Jeep. Was Taylor Wright with you and Ashley on that day? No, ma'am. Did you see Taylor Wright at the wedding? No, ma'am. Did you and Ashley leave the wedding together? No, ma'am. Okay, who left first? Ashley did. Did she um, take the white Jeep? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and how did you get home from the wedding? I rode home with a friend, got a ride. Those are my questions. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. Yes, ma'am. Temperature a little better. Get ready. It's going to be hot in here soon. All right, Mr. John Barras, it's going to ask you questions, sir. If it's just yes or no, please answer yes or no. Don't volunteer extra information. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, Mr. McArthur. How are you doing? Good, sir. Um, you mentioned on direct examination a little bit about your background with Ashley McArthur and her background. You mentioned at one time she worked for the Escambia County Sheriff's Office, correct? Yes, sir. I believe your testament was a crime scene technician. Yes, sir. That would have been before you were married to her, correct? Yes, sir. And you were married in 2012? 14. 14, okay. Uh, it was significantly before you were married to her, correct, that she worked for the Escambia County Sheriff's Office? Yes, sir. Approximately 2005 to 2006 sound about right? Uh, it sounds about right. Okay. And she worked for the sheriff's office for less than a year, correct? It was about a year. I'm, I'm not 100% on that, but yes, sir, maybe about a year. The state was asking you some questions about um, kind of who took care of the finances for y'all's relationship, and you indicated that was Mrs. MacArthur's job, correct? Yes, sir. Um, and it sounded like you, you kind of said, you know, I, I had a debit card and I, I used that, and other than that, I really didn't have much involvement. Yes, Is that sir. correct? All right. Um, you used to be in law enforcement, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, at some point, and I don't know if you were in law enforcement at this time, but you got into a pretty significant accident, correct? Yes. A car sir. accident. And um, you hired an, an attorney and, and 
sued, I guess, the other driver's insurance company, right? Um, I, b I believe it's my insurance and maybe it's a workers' comp, but something like that, yes, sir. And in the springtime of 2017, um, you received a pretty substantial settlement from from yes, that. Do yes, you remember sir. the approximate amount y'all got? Um, it was t between 50 and 60. Okay. Thousand dollars. And you kind of being the hands-off person, was that just turned over to Mrs. MacArthur to handle? Yes, sir. You mentioned that um, focusing on September 8, 2017, that Ashley MacArthur left y'all's residence sometime between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. in approximate time, correct? Yes, sir. And she took your truck? Yes, sir. And that was a, a Ford F-250? Correct. What color is it? Silver. What year is it? Uh, 2012. Okay. And occasionally, I know you said she was helping somebody move that day, but occasionally Ashley MacArthur would drive your truck, correct? Yes, sir. And you mentioned that kind of you went through your schedule of what you did on Friday, September 8, 2017, and you mentioned meeting Mrs. MacArthur for dinner later at the Blackwater Bistro, correct? Yes, sir. Um, a little before that, did, did y'all actually meet at your residence on Rain Tree Drive and then head out to Blackwater together? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, that, that's okay. Yes, so y'all met at your residence. Do you know approximately what time you met at your residence? Um, it was just in the afternoon before we went over there, but now that, um, I don't think, we did, we drove over there separately. Okay. But we, I, I guess I came home and then she came home and then we went to Blackwater Bistro. But you still had met at the residence. Yes, sir. That, that was, I guess, the first time you had seen her since she left that morning was at your residence yes, on Raintree. All right. And, and as you told the state that when you saw her earlier at, at the house, was there anything you know, you've been, you've known Ashley for a while. Was there anything unusual about her demeanor? No, sir. Okay. Um, anything about the way she looked as far as, I mean, how long were you in law enforcement? Long time. Long time. I mean, did you notice any blood on her anywhere, on any of her clothing she was wearing? No, sir. I mean, did she appear to be dirty or disheveled in any way? No, sir. How long have you known Ashley MacArthur? Um, I met her when she was a crime scene technician, so right after she had started there with that. And you're aware that um, she was in a car accident sometime, correct? Yes, sir. Um, how are you aware that she was in a car accident? I, I showed up to the scene. As a law enforcement officer? No, sir. Okay, just as, as a... Just well, a friend. I would, just a friend. You weren't married to her at the time? No, sir. Okay. Since the time that you've lived with Ashley MacArthur, is it fair to say that she has suffered from back problems? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just general things around the house. Um, is she able to lift heavy objects? No, sir. For example, um, your house, is, is the laundry in the basement? Or where's the laundry? In the, it's in the, um I don't know, it's just before you got the back door on the main floor. Okay, I apologize about that. Um, as long as y'all been together, who's had to move the laundry basket of dirty clothes? I would. Okay. Is that because she wasn't able to do it? Yeah, yes, sir. Let's go to September 9th, 2017. Um, that Saturday you talked about you had gone to the hunting camp and then later y'all went up to a, a wedding over in Alberta, Alabama. Um, how long did it take y'all to get from Pensacola area to over there? Maybe 45 minutes. Okay. Anything unusual with Ashley MacArthur you knew during that drive? No, sir. Um, and you said that she left the wedding earlier than you, correct, and drove back and yes, sir. you caught a ride with somewhere else? Yes, sir. Do you know why she left the wedding early? I remember she getting a call for work, something, a machine being down or out. I think it was a jukebox not working or something. 
Was that common in her business for her to have to get calls and go yes, to a, a business and work on a machine? Yes, sir. that Saturday when y'all went to the wedding over in Alabama. Several days later, do you recall going out to the Britt family farm because I think you were going to sell a side-by-side? -side? Yes, sir. And when you got out there, did you see Ashley MacArthur and um, Audrey Potts out there, that farm? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, did, you, do you, did you take Audrey Potts for a ride on the side-by-side? -side? Do you remember that? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. I, I could have, but I, I don't remember. How long were you out at the farm at that time? Not very long, just long enough to um, sit, because I'd borrowed a trailer from a friend, just, no, I had my, my old trailer, um, just long enough to figure out that um, the side-by-side -side wouldn't fit on the trailer, and so um, I left after that. Okay, where was the ATV parked at the farm? Behind the barn. Okay. Um, the jury has had an opportunity to kind of see a diagram. Um, where, how would you describe behind the barn. I mean, south side of the barn. The south side of the barn. Okay. Is that the side? Op you have the the house here, the barn here. Where would the would the ATV been back on this if, side? If you're looking, you're, if your house is to the left, okay. and you're looking, the barns in front of you. It's just on the very back on the south side. May I have one moment? A James Hayes. Uh, yes, sir. And who who was James Hayes? He, he was a worker um, that did some work at the office. And, okay. And um, built the uh, porch on our back of our house. Okay. Was it so? Would he kind of do some physical labor for Ashley MacArthur? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you mentioned your house and the porch in the back of your house. Remind the jury again where y'all lived at that time. In East Hill off 12th Avenue on uh, Rain Tree Drive. Okay. Focusing on the September 2017 time frame, your house was, were y'all doing some work on your house? Yes, sir. Okay. We've been doing some work for a while on it. Okay. What kind of projects were y'all doing on your house? Uh, landscaping, um, a really big back porch, um, bathroom downstairs. Um, I mean, we've, we've been doing it. Was, it was, I mean, in progress for quite some time. Okay. May I have one moment? Just to wrap it up, after September 8th, 2017, at any of the times that you were interacting with Ashley, did she seem off? Did she seem nervous? Not the normal Ashley? No, sir. No further questions, Your Honor. This work that you were doing at your house on Rain Tree, when was the last time before September 8th of 2017 that anyone had done anything on your downstairs area? Um, I, I Let me ask you this, weren't you having some contractor issues or something? Yeah, that was long before then. Okay. Um, but Mr. We'd had the bathroom, I mean, to be honest, I hired a buddy trying to help him uh, remodel our house and he thought he could do tile, but really couldn't. So we had to have it pulled out again. And I think Mr. Hayes is the he's the one that pulled that out for. So it was it was a constant battle. Okay. I want to talk about um, the settlement you got. I'm going to show you what's been marked for identification. The state's exhibit number 158. You'll just take a look at that. Do you recognize that? Yes, ma'am. And is that your the settlement that you were talking to Mr. Barasset about? Yes, ma'am. What's the date on that check? 
March 15th of 2017. And what's the amount? 43806 Okay. And you said that you turned that over to Ashley because she did all your finances, correct? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any idea where that money went? No, ma'am. I, I didn't. Okay. okay. Um, Mr. Brossett was asking you about a time that you were out at the Britt Road property. Um, what is a what is a side by side? Um, it's basically a four wheeler, but um, it's it's a type of ATV, and a, you know a four wheeler you ride back to back, and a side by side you sit next to each other. Okay. Um, it, is it called a Polaris or something like that? That one was yes, ma'am. Okay. How long had it been out at the Britt Road property? Um, I'd had my four wheeler out there for some time, and then um, I sold my four wheeler to the gentleman I got the side by side from. I don't, I don't remember. Okay. So these, these pieces of equipment or whatever they are, I'm not familiar with them, had been out at the Britt Road Farm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you remember on the day that you went out there with the trailer, did you have to get Ashley to meet you out there to get a key? I believe, yes. I don't think I had the, the, the key to it, and she had to go by the house to uh, get it, and that's why um, I met them out there to get my key. Okay. And what about a key to the um, property itself? Um, what, I'm not like sure. the gates or anything that were um, out on the Brit Road property? Um, I believe Ash had a key, and I don't remember if they left one around, like with the with the home. Is I don't, I don't remember. Okay. I don't. Um, you were talking about a car accident that Ashley was in. What year was that, if you recall? I don't recall. I just, if I remember correctly, I'd be in it. I remember being on Massachusetts Boulevard. Okay. Well, let me ask you and this. You said that you got married in 2014. About how long do you think it was before you got married? Um, A year, two years, no, 10 years? I'm trying to think of when we, we got together around the end of 2011, beginning of 2012. So it would have been maybe 2010, maybe. Okay. All right. And um, you testified that you didn't really see Ashley lift heavy objects, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and fair to say you didn't see her lift anything heavy in your presence? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you don't know what she did when you weren't around? No, ma'am, that'd be impossible. No, ma'am. Those are my questions. Thank you, sir. Is he free? Is he free? It's subject to recall. He can course in the courthouse today. I, I don't know if I'll need him again, but I've got a cell number in my phone. Okay, so you're free to leave the courthouse, but you're before you know it. I'm not. Uh, but we might call you. And yes, ma'am. If we call, answer the phone, and come back, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Don't discuss your testimony. If everybody's okay, I might want to try one more witness. How y'all feeling? Is everybody. In? I love it how you look to each other. Just, everybody okay? Let's try one more, okay? And then we'll take a break if you want to stand for a second. Nope. All right. Nobody's going to get you on camera if you stand, even if you're wearing a pink shirt, hypothetically. You knew that was coming at some point today. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. I'm sorry. It's going to be a fairly long witness, so it, that makes a difference. Um, hmm. Is there going to be a logical break point? Let me talk to y'all at the bench without the court reporter and with the microphones off. What we're going to do is this is going to be potentially a long witness, but we're going to go a little bit into it and get to kind of a logical transition point and then give you a break, okay? Ms. MacArthur, you okay? You'll let me know? Okay. Call your next witness. Kyle Britt. Is 
So I'm just going to rely on you, Ms. Jensen, to tell me a point where it's kind of a transition to something else, or I'll just tell you when it's a good time. One of the two. Okay. All right, you're already under oath. Have a seat. Pull up to the microphone. Now, before I get you to say your name, I want you to listen to the questions you're asked. I don't want you volunteering a lot of extra stuff. Just answer the question you're asked, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. State your name, please. Kyle Britt. And you can spell it, please. K-Y-L-E Britt, B-R-I-T-T. What is your date of birth, Mr. Britt? 11 26, 1994. And what do you do for a living? I'm a full time college student. What are you going to school for? Marketing. Are you related to Ashley Britt MacArthur? Uh, she's my cousin. <clears throat> Back at the end of August, September, October, October 2017, where did you live? Uh, off of uh, Britt Road. Do you know the address? 2201 Britt Road. Where did you live before Britt Road? Uh, I lived in Gainesville, Florida. Okay. Is that where you were going to college? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why did you move to the Britt Road property? Uh, I had graduated Santa Fe College and I was transferring to West Florida. Okay. Who owns um, the Britt Road property that you were living on? My parents. And approximately when did you move to that property? Um, it was about a week before school started. Okay. When did school start? It's, well, this semester is August 26th, so okay. it would be sometime around that time. Okay. Prior to moving out to Britt Road, how often did you see or speak to Ashley MacArthur? Um... Just a handful of times. Okay. And when you moved um, to the property in August of 2017, did the two of you, I guess, try to reconnect? Yes, I did. Because um, it was a new area for me. I didn't, in Gainesville, I didn't really know that many people. And moving to Pensacola, I knew I had family over here. So I, the first, one of the first things I did when I moved in town was reached out family because I wanted to get some sort of network going. All right. And how often, once you moved... Um, to the Britt Road property. How often did you see, speak, text with Ashley MacArthur? Um, in the first couple weeks I lived there, we met up once, okay. and then after that, uh, it was fairly often. Okay. Did Ashley have a horse on that property? Yes, ma'am. And were the horses out there pretty self-sufficient or? Yes, ma'am. For the most part, they were, we had plenty of grass out there and they had over eight acres or so and they were for the main part on their own. Okay. After school started, when was the first time you saw Ashley MacArthur? Uh, it was pr for the uh, Alabama FSU game. And I could not tell you what that date was, but um, I know it was early September, okay. late August. And by the shirt that you're wearing, I'm assuming you were pulling for Alabama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. Okay. Don't care for either or, but that's the better of the two. I understand. Um, and where, where did you see her for the game? Uh, we met up at her house. And do you remember the street by any chance? Uh, I don't. Okay. Does Rain Tree sound familiar? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Who was there um, for this football game? Uh, her husband, Zach, and I think Audrey was also there. Okay. Did you and Ashley speak to each other um, pretty regularly after that game? Um, during the game, because she knew I liked to cook, and I used to compete in culinary competitions, so she knew about that. And we spoke about making a dinner one evening. Um, other than that, after that game, uh, that was pretty much what the conversations, how the conversations went. Okay. 
at any point did you, or when did you start having more regular contact? With um, I think it was September 9th. It was on a Saturday. She asked me to come out with her and to uh, one of her friend's pool halls and play pool with them. Do you remember the name of the pool hall? Uh, Sticks. Okay. And that was on September 9th? I believe so. Okay. Um, what did you guys, what did you naturally do on September 9th? <laughs> had the college experience I never, never had in Gainesville. You what? Had the college experience I never had in Gainesville. So the night started out as about uh, 7 o'clock at Sticks. And when you we, say 7 o'clock, you're talking AM or PM? PM. Okay. Um, we started drinking at Sticks, and then uh, we left Sticks, and then we hit up, I think it was Babes next, and then after that we hit Arity's, and we ended the night at, I think it was 4 in the morning, okay. trash, drunk. At any point um, on the ninth, or any time really, did Ashley tell you about any back problems she had or any problems she had lifting? She did. Uh, what did she say? I couldn't tell you what night that was, but she did. She said that she had been moving boxes, and she had hurt her back. She'd been moving boxes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I want to back up. Oh, let me ask you this. On the 9th that you guys went to all these places, um, do you know if Ashley had been at a wedding earlier that day? She had mentioned something about a wedding. Okay. Um, and what were you doing that day on the 9th before I, you met up with her? I was at my aunt's house. They are erecting a new barn, and I was helping them um, getting ready to, to pour a slab for their new barn. So. You said pour a slab. Um, yes, ma'am. Who who purchased the materials for that slab? Oh, that was a uh, my cousin Josh, and they had a concrete company come out and do it. At any point, was Ashley MacArthur asked to purchase concrete for this slab? No, ma'am. All right. So that was September 9th. Let's let's go back to the day before September 8th. Do you remember where you were that day? I was at my aunt's house. Uh, they had a funeral, and I was over at her house for moral support. Okay. And do you remember approximately what time you got over to your aunt's house on September 8th? I know it was early that day because it, uh, it was one of her husband's office partners that they had that passed away. So I, was, I knew I was over there early in the morning. Okay. Well, early in the morning to some people may not be to others. So <laughs> what's I'm probably going to say probably for me uh, – around nine ten o'clock a.m. yes ma'am okay and then how long were you at your aunt's that uh, day I was there all day okay um, okay did you see Ashley MacArthur on September 8th 2017 no ma'am okay do you remember how late you were at your aunt's on the 8th? I want to say I left around 10 or 11 o'clock because when they got back home from the funeral, it was we were just talking for a couple hours. Okay. So, A.M. or P.M.? P.M. Okay. Did you go home from your aunt's house after um, yes, ma this time? Okay. The next morning, which is going to be September 8th, or excuse me, the next morning, which is going to be the 9th. Did you see or hear from Ashley MacArthur that morning? Yes, I did. Okay, and, and tell the jurors what the circumstance was. So I had just gotten up. It was uh, around 7 o'clock in the morning, and I got a text message stating that from Ashley stating that she was at my property and I sent her a message back saying no I'm not or no you're not because I would have heard her park because of way, the way the property is laid out and the way the driveway is laid out it the driveway is up against the uh, the master bedroom of the uh, the trailer that I was living in okay um, let me stop you let me ask you real quick was that yes. normal or abnormal to hear from her that early from 
Or overruled. From the night that we hung out on for the football game, we got, had a conversation about that with Audrey and Ashley and, and Zach, and they all said that Ashley was not a morning person because I was asking. Sir? Yes, ma'am. So my question was, was it normal or abnormal to hear from Ashley it that was early? It unnormal. And when she texted you and said she was, did she say she was there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And at that point, um, what did you do? I got up and went to the door to see if she was there. And, and was she there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What did, um, what did you guys do that morning? Uh, nothing. We went and saw the horses, and it was, it was very odd because most time when somebody's over there, it's What did you do that day? What did you do that Sustain. morning? We went and saw the horses, and I uh, showed her the progress I was making on my bathroom renovation inside the trailer. Okay. And um, was that normal or abnormal for Ashley to be out there? Since I had moved yeah, okay. There's an objection, okay. yes, please. I'm just mulling it over for a second. As the way it's phrased, I'll sustain the objection. After you walked around and looked at the horses and you showed her the bathroom renovations, what else did the two of you do? Uh, that was it. We, I think she, had, she asked me what I was doing that day, and I told her I'd be going by my aunt's house to help them with the barn, and that was it. Okay. How long was she out there that morning on September 9th? Uh, probably all of an hour. Do you remember, um, did you see a car that she was in? She was in her black Jeep. After September 9th, this morning, that you just talked about, was there a time when Ashley came back out to that property on Britt Road? Uh, there have been a couple times. On okay, I'm talking about the, the next same. Time. Do you remember about when that was? That I, I know it was probably later on that week. I couldn't give you the date. It's okay, let me ask you this. Was Audrey with her? Less, yes, yes, ma'am. The okay. last time that they did come out, it was, Audrey was with her, and it was also early in the morning as well. It was around, I'd say, 10, 11 o'clock when they came out. Okay, and what were the circumstances? Well, first of all, let me ask you this. Did you know that Ashley was coming out there? No, I did not. Okay. When she... Um, showed up with Audrey, what did you three do? Uh, I had, when they showed up, I literally just got done cooking breakfast and for myself, and they literally came inside and we talked for maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe a little longer, maybe 20 minutes, and then they had left. Okay. Did you have, do you remember if you had school that day? I believe I did. I think that's why they left uh, when they did, because I said, I've got to go to school. Okay. Or I had left, and they were still there. It was one of those where it's, it's been a while, and it's okay. two years ago. So. That's okay. Um, so after the, the time she shows up early on September 9th, and then she showed up again after that with Audrey unannounced, um, was there a time that she showed up again um, that kind of, I guess, maybe surprised you or you weren't aware of? The next time that I had seen her out there, um, I was trying to get her out there. Um, me and my mother were running or starting up a wedding venue out at that property. Okay, let and me we, stop you. Yes, ma'am. What were the circumstances of Ashley coming out to the property? For the second time, I wanted her just to have, to, to kind of, make it look like our wedding venue was a little bit busier than, than what it was. So it was just to have somebody else drive up while we were doing one tour just to have, to get a sale. Okay. And did she show up with anybody? Uh, she showed up hours after that and it was just by herself. Was there a time that she showed up with, um, Patrick Smith? Yes. Okay. Yes, and what was the circumstance of that? Um, I had asked Patrick because I mowed the grass, but I hate weeding to come out and we need the property. And Can you get closer to the microphone yes, in front of you? In 
Yeah. This one right here. Okay. Um, I had asked Patrick to come by the property uh, to, so he could weed, and because he said that he was doing some stuff with lawn care, and so I hired him to do some trimming. To do some what? The trimming. Okay. Of okay. And um, did you give him directions on how to get out to the property? Um, I gave him the address, and that same day, me and Ashley were going to hang out, so uh, Ashley asked what my plans were, and I told her, and... Uh, I also let her know that Patrick was coming out, and she said, all right, I'll give Patrick a call. Okay. And then did Ashley show up with Patrick? Yes. Okay. And he was there to do yard work? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then what did you and Ashley do? Uh, we went, I think we went to Pensacola Automatic and Amusement that day. Okay. And we worked on um, a jukebox that was messed up. Okay. When Patrick came out to the property to do yard work, did you show him where you wanted him to weed eat? Yes, I had showed him that one of the fence lines we did around the barn we did and the pond. Okay, and the fence line that you showed him, um, where wh what fence line? That property is huge. So, <laughs> let me let me let me stop you. Were you there on October nineteenth when law enforcement executed a search warrant? Yes. Okay. Did you see the area where a body was found? Yes. Did you tell Patrick Smith to weed eat anywhere around that area? What I told Patrick when I gave no. him... So, no, I did not in that okay. area, no. Okay. Do you remember your cell phone number back then? Yes. It's what is it? 904-505-0765. And did you have Facebook? Yes. Was your location feature enabled? Yes. And I'm not, I don't really know what that means, so can you explain that? So Facebook has a feature where it's called check-in, where you can randomly check in where you're at, as well as your friends, if you have it enabled, can look on you and get an estimate of a location of where you're at. Okay, and did you allow your Facebook friends to see yes. where you were? Were you and Ashley Facebook friends? Yes. Mr. Britt, did you ever meet Taylor Wright? No. Did Ashley ever tell you that Taylor had property or belongings or a lockbox on Britt Road? No. Did Ashley ever tell you anything about Taylor Wright? No, ma'am. Back around September 2017, did Ashley do any work out on that property? No, ma'am. Did you ever help Ashley um, out with her business at Pensacola Automatic Amusement? I helped her try to repair the jukebox, <laughs> um, as well as I helped her move some pool tables. Okay. And when you helped her move some t pool tables, did she help as well? Yes. Physically? Yes. On one of those occasions that you were helping Ashley, did you call a bank at her request? Yes. All right, council approach. <coughs> Um, we need to just kind of talk about this a little more. So this is a good time for the break. And remember to leave your notepads, your pencils. Um, we're going to be back about 315-ish, 320-ish. Don't discuss the case. I'll see you all in a few, okay? Thank you. Ms. MacArthur, I haven't forgotten that you need a break, but I want to try to deal with this issue quickly, then I'm going to give everybody a break. Let me, I want to step out for a second. Y'all just remain seated. I want to talk to the staff attorney for a second and then come to a resolution on that. Staff attorney slash PIO officer. I'm going to allow the state to answer the question and overrule the objection or that line of questions. Okay. All right. So let's take, uh, um, unless there's anything else, Ms. Jensen, um, Barry Barassi. 
No, Your Honor. John Barasit? No, ma'am. All right, let's be back at 320. We'll pick up where we left off. And don't discuss your testimony on the break with anybody. Thank you.